안녕하세요, 김인코레 박김이입니다. Hi, this is Kimi Park from Kimi Korea, and today I'm taking you to five places here in Seoul that you might want to visit if you are an 18e. So behind me, you have one of the two buildings of KQ Entertainment. So this one is referred to as the one that is above the 7-Eleven because the other one is in front of the GS25. This one is mainly offices, but if you look on the third floor, there's a room that looks like it's a practice room. At the beginning, when KQ only had one building, this was the original. And at the time, they only had one floor, not three. I had some friends who have spotted Eden here. So it is possible to, you know, see people belonging to the KQ family when you are here. But remember that you have to be respectful of their privacy. Do not take pictures, do not necessarily approach them. Be respectful. In general, it's fine to come here, take a picture of yourself with the building, etc. I know with some other bigger agency, there's actually security that tell you to like, you know, go away if you come too close and like are taking pictures of the building itself but here it's relatively fine, just be respectful. And this 7-Eleven behind me is actually quite famous amongst the 18s because the members of 80s used to go and shop here, so you used to be able to see them coming down when they were uh, trainees or a little bit after they debuted. And here we are at the second KQ Entertainment, the second building, which is actually located in the ground floor. So if you look at the GS25 and you look down, this is where you can see the entrance with the KQ logo written on the door. Now, there's not so much to see here. I'm right in front of the stairs that allows you to go down to the actual door. But as you can see, it's written right here, authorized personal only. So authorized personal only means like, of course, you're not allowed to go down to the basement and to the entrance. But yeah, just so you know, this is where the other KQ Entertainment is located. We, my other 18 year friends and I, we suspect that this is where they actually record their live because the internet is really bad. Hello. <laughs> 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 Hello darkness, my old friend. When the internet is really good, normally pretty much everyone in Korea, but yeah, maybe it's because it's in the basement. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> Alright, the next place I wanted to show you is this restaurant right here. It's called Myeongdong Wang Donkasu, and it's not in Myeongdong, it's in Hyundai. Wang means king, and Donkasu is bread crusted fried pork, and it's really good. This restaurant is right next to the KQ building, and that's why the members of 80s would come here and eat regularly. If your bias is Ayuno or Uyong, you might be happy to know that they were the two that came here the most often. So tonight I came here with some of my other 18 friends, and we're gonna try it out. Come with us. I took the cheese one, but the most normal one is the pork one, there's also a fish one, etc. And you can even see their signature on the wall. <laughs> If you want to sit at the table where they sit often, I can show you right now. It's the one in the back right here. Okay, so I'm just out of the restaurant. Uh, it was really nice, Donkasu. And actually, the Sajangnim, the shop owner, asked us if we were 18ies. He was like, oh, look on the dish. I put some green peppers, just like, you know, in their comeback. And we were like, yay! <laughs> Also, when we went to pay, he was showing us like, oh look, I have some selfies with you know, with Uyong, etc. So he just showed us that, so that was cool. So make sure to mention that you are 18 e next time that you come. Okay, so this is in Yangdong, just outside the entrance number four. Do you have like, just the CD, um, just the K-pop place that sells CDs? Here at the end of this very hallway, you have uh, this other shop in which you can find some official goodies and CDs, DVDs, etc.
So we also have the light stick. Here it's 60,000. It's twice the price of the real thing. So potentially you just buy it online. <laughs> this is the Blu-ray. Yeah, so the DVD. And right across from this one, you have another shop which sells unofficial goodies. So you could have a look there as well. You have here some unofficial photo cards. Here you have a sticker book. So you have some stickers inside. Here you have just a set with a lot of random stuff. You can see it here. Here you have some more photo cards with 30 in it. Here you have some more postcards and stickers from the Japanese album. You have some stamps with some paper, what do you call that, paper to write letters. Here you have some uh, post-it sets. And here you have a set of posters and stickers and you really have a lot and it's only 7,000. It's crazy. You have some school tags in plastic. This is too many cards. We have some postcard sets. This is actually official merch from Fever Park 1. So it's a little bit old, but yeah, two summers ago. Here we you have some more photo cards. It's 6,000 for 60 cards. Here you have some pins. Here you have some folders for 2000. Even have a cap for 13,000. It makes one thing. Okay. Here we have also the light stick, also for 16,000. So there's also this, which they are calling three stitch folding five folder and hologram poster. I don't really know uh, how to explain it, but we have the BTS one as an example here. Okay, so let's open this one. This is the sticker book and sticky notes. So pretty! And this one is loads of stickers. So many stickers! So I know, I know, this is a video about ET is not BTS. So you might be wondering why I'm talking about the so-called BTS restaurant. This restaurant is famous because BTS used to eat there regularly during their training days. And now it is a must-go place for all army. But bear with me, there's something for the ET there. This restaurant is literally covered in BTS pictures and they serve Korean traditional food. Don't worry, the menu is in many languages because armies are coming from all over the world to this place. Therefore, the staff there is also likely to ask you if you're army, and if you say yes, they will ask you who your favorite member is and give you a little goodie. As you know, the 80s members are big fan of their some Oh my god, I love it. We like BTS. I just 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 Fake in love. And just like any army, they also came to this place and left behind some autographs that you can find on the wall.
and there's a second spot to look for on the ceiling where there's loads of pictures of 80s. Are you guys only 18 or are you also ARMY? Let me know what your biases are in the comments!